Hey guys, this is Mr. Bricktacular, and I'm here to review the LEGO Creator Family Home. Uh, before I get on with it, I'm sorry if I sound a little bit weird. Um, I'm sick, like a little bit. And, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the box this time. Oh, it's a pretty big box. Ages 8 to 12. Uh, set number 6754, Family Home. Uh, 976 pieces. It re re retails for, um about 80 bucks Canadian, maybe 90 I think, and uh, it is a great deal considering how many pieces it is and how cool it is and how much fun you can have building it. Awesome build. Here's the back. Um, you can see uh, that's the model. Um, I've built them all and reviewed them. This is by far my favorite though. Uh, I'll tell you why in the review. Uh, here's the pieces that it comes with. Uh, base plate. And it also comes with that golden one, which is there. And it's on the model. It's right there. Sorry if I'm a bit shaky, I just woke up as well. Okay, so 3-in-1 is most LEGO Creator models. And um, again, I'll have this uh, information in the box, the uh, description box below. So you can just check that out. It'll be more accurate. Because I don't know everything at the moment. Okay, first of all, here are the booklets. Um, I'm doing everything backwards at the moment in this review. I usually start off with the model and then the box and stuff, but yeah. So here it is. Uh, there are two. Uh, that's what it looks like when it's done. Uh, you know, and also the full set comes with a, you know, two more mag uh, booklets. One for the well, you know, one for each model. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so these are the pieces that it comes with. It does come with a couple more, and I finally found this piece that I couldn't find to build the chicken. Sorry about that. But, uh, th there are, I think, four more black studs which I used on my bed. Okay, uh, these are the for all the furniture that I managed to fit in the house. Check out my update video if you want to see that. I show the house opening with my furniture in it, but I won't do that at the moment. So I'm just gonna push them aside. And the pieces. Okay, it doesn't really want to go. Here we go. Okay. Um, just put the box aside too. Now here's the model. As you can see, I've got this little guy here named him Frank. And uh, I pretend that he lives in this house, just to make it a bit more fun. So, uh, yep. Uh, here's a duck pond, which is pretty nice. Uh, I don't know why there's this stud here without anything on it. Uh, I kind of expected there to be another green one there. Um, yeah, here's the duck. I can get it off. Yep. Okay, well, I ripped its head off, but there's its head. Um, there it is. It's pretty cool. Um, standard Lego duck, like you know, uh, build buildable. Uh, here's the bird bath, which here's that golden piece that I was talking about. It's just a golden plate, and uh, each model uses it differently. I actually tried to build my own model, and I used it as a lamp, but uh, my model kind of failed because uh, I suck at building it so that it's like crossed over each brick if you understand. So I didn't actually finish it. Uh, here's the chimney which looks awesome. Uh, there's this random grill here. Don't know what it's for but you know it's not really a con. Uh, here's the back. Really plain. The white line going across which indicates, well it doesn't really indicate but um, it kind of shows you where the floor is for the second floor. Um, here's the side. The coffee mug just fell off. It's a coffee mug that they say to put it here, but you know, you don't really have to. I don't keep it there because obviously it falls off really easily. Here's the light that also falls off really easily. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna put it aside. Um, there's a hose with a little uh, drain. Uh, here's the awning with some supporters, which look great. Um, there's also, um, what's it called, a gutter, 
with another drain and what I found a bit odd is it comes with three of these regular drain pieces and a silvery one which I didn't actually use I'm not sure why it comes with a silvery one because um, if you put a silvery one let's say there then this one will be silvery this one will be gray and the other one will be gray and it'll look weird so I just decided to leave it out um, kind of confused about that but it's not a big deal uh, there's this really nice window up front See, I just closed it. It's hard to open from the, uh, from the outside. Also, some window shutters. Let's see. Uh, and here as well. Okay. Um, here's the top of the chimney. And now let's open it. Okay, let's start off with the bottom. Um, okay, everything's falling off of me. Chimney just fell off. Sorry about that. On the inside, there are some lights here. Um, they're either lights or candles. They look like candles because if you see, it's like a flame. And then it's like a white wick. Well, not a wick, but a, you know, a wax type thing. Um, you know, I'm not sure. But it can be whatever you want. I kind of picture them as lights because I don't know how many people still use candles to light up their house. <laughs> okay, there's also the sliding door that slides really nicely. Um, this is where the gutter is held in place from falling over. Um, there's this big arch here, which kind of, I don't really like it too much because then you can't really get your minifigures in there. Uh, you know, it's really, it makes it just really tight, tight fit. And also I'd like to fit a couple couches in there because there's a really nice fireplace. Let's see that, don't want my camera isn't focusing. Okay, um, still focusing. I don't know why it's not focusing. Okay. Well, yeah, there's the fireplace. Pretty cool. And I like how there's a fireplace and then the chimney. Also, the chimney is hollow. Um, at least from this floor. So if you drop anything in there, then uh, you're going to have a tough time getting it out. <laughs> okay, I hear the stairs are pretty nice. They're held in very well. They won't fall down. There's also this window here. That's the arch window. Pretty cool. Alright, so that's the bottom floor. Um, here is the back of the top floor. I don't know why I'm zoomed in. Oh, yeah. Alright. So here it is. Shutters closed. Um, I fit my bed and uh, my desk and chair and stuff you'll see in the update video. Um, this is where the stairs are. Um, if you want, you can put some railings in because I don't, there's no railings. It kind of lacks that. But, you know, I really like this, how there are two floors. It's really cool. And it just goes on like so. It goes on two studs on this side and one there. And the bird, bird bath fell off. I don't know why everything's falling off on me. Um, here's the front. Uh, I don't really like this because, I mean, it's just cluttery. Look at all this clutter. Just kind of random. And I mean, it's it's strong, and that's not too much of a con. The only con of the model. But, I mean, I think they could have done a little bit of a better job. And uh, But you can fit a lot of things in here. Because the roof is, like, raised... Um, yeah. Okay, just putting it back on. Alright, so, this model, I've got to rate 5 out of 5. Price is good, um, build is fun, uh, of course, creator, that's the only real reason that they have them, for fun building. Uh, you can use a lot of creativity with it to build your own furniture and stuff. If you don't like building furniture, then I wouldn't suggest this set. Um, uh, you know, it's just, it looks awesome in person. Way better than I expected to. And it's actually really big for a Lego house. Uh, you know. Also, unfortunately, uh, you can't purchase it in a Lego store anymore. You might be able to at Toys R Us. That's where I purchased mine. I was really lucky too because it was out of stock on the Lego store. So, yep, uh, pl please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.